Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what we got going on here today. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, man, today's video is dealing with you guys. Matter of fact, y'all already know who I'm talking about. That's the Paper Out Ops. And that's your boy, Black Youngster, and his two artists, Lil Migo and Big J90. Yeah, so check this out. It looked like your boy, Black Youngster, is now a lone wolf out there. And one of the reasons why I say that is because y'all already know that Yo Gotti and his brother, Big Juk, they had to distance themselves from Black Youngster. And it seems like they weren't the only ones. We also have Lil Migo and Big J90, who were once a part of Black Youngster's heavy camp. They have now abandoned ship. And your boy Black Youngster, he don't like that they left him high and dry. See, the thing is, I think they know the feds about to move in. So they trying their best to stay out the way. Even though they both, that's Lil Migo and Big J90, played their part to purposely perpetuate the beef between PRE and CMG. Now that everything is starting to fall apart around everybody who had their hands in taking out Young Dolph, you can see they all paranoid and moving funny. But with all that going on, it looked like your boy Black Youngster, he been airing out his emotions on social media. Black Youngster stated himself that he not feeling the actions from none of them. And I'm talking about Big Juk, Yo Gotti, Lil Migo, Big J90, and even Govin. Black Youngster speaks on dudes being disloyal. I not taking one for the team or standing on a word. And quick to jump ship. Once situations get a little sticky. But hey, we all know your boy Yo Gotti. He the captain of that CMG ship. And he ain't gonna let it sink because of the actions of his guard dog, Black Youngster. Nobody informed Black Youngster to pick up the beef that Yo Gotti had with Young Dolph. So in a sense, he didn't care about how the beef between Yo Gotti and Young Dolph actually started. See, Black Youngster, he was just showing his loyalty towards Yo Gotti by just plainly having his back. But y'all gotta understand, on CMG chessboard, Black Youngster is Yo Gotti's knight. While everybody else is just paid off pawns. So he's literally playing his position until Yo Gotti is done with him. I feel like when Black Youngster picked up the beef with Young Dolph, which Yo Gotti was done with from a public perspective, because we all know behind closed doors, it's a lot of moves that was made based around taking out Paper Route Frank. But again, in a public perspective, your boy Black Youngster, he kept it going. He would perpetuate said beef through his artists, Lil Migo and Big J90. Now, without Black Youngster hanging over them, Lil Migo and Big J90, they can see they didn't have to perpetuate the beef between PRE and CMG. And that's dealing with every time that Black Youngster had did a promo with one of his artists, he will always make sure to dish Young Dolph and Paper Route. But check this out, this will start to get a little spicy because Black Youngster, he feel like Lil Migo owe him more loyalty than what he's showing, especially for getting his chain back from CEO Jizzle, which Lil Migo uncle told Black Youngster to do anyway. Cause I told y'all before, man, Lil Migo uncle, he's a real street cat. And he's the reason why Lil Migo is still tied in with Yo Gotti CMG. So that's why once Lil Migo dropped Black Youngster's heavy camp, he was able to go right over to CMG. Again, because of his uncle affiliation with Yo Gotti and Big Juke. And then Black Youngster, he also let Big J9 know that he looked out for him once he got out the joint. But J9 know he did acknowledge the fact that Black Youngster looked out for him by putting him on a bigger stage to perform. But at the same time, Big J90 still feel like Black Youngster played him out some cash that was supposed to be guaranteed to him, but he never got it. So Black Youngster, he go on to say that the reason why Big J90 never got the extra money because it was all added in to the total expenses from the Sprinter and the two chains that Black Youngster had purchased for him. But see, your boy Big J90, he messed up by acknowledging he never fully read the contract. And that's the issue. You can't complain about negotiations for a certain amount when you never read the contract. See, I keep telling y'all, man, a lot of dudes, they be so quick to sign on the dollar line that they not even aware of how much of their intellectual property that they gave away for free. 
because it happens all the time. And Big J now I know saying he never got paid only means black youngster did him the same way. And even Big J now I know he stated that the only thing he was looking at in that contract was the money. So he looked over all the fine print just to see the amount that he was supposed to get paid. But now that's where he found himself between a rock and a hard place. Plus everybody seen the clip when Big J and I know signed to Black Youngster's heavy camp. See right there in the middle of the mall where Black Youngster had gave Big J and I know the heavy camp chain. And at the same time, Big J and I know he thought Black Youngster was gonna give him a stack of cash because that's what he seen Yo Gotti do to all his artists. So he thought he was gonna get the same thing. So once Black Youngster gave him a chain, y'all can see the look on Big J and I know face. That was the face of somebody who knew they just got played. And matter of fact, your boy, Big CEO, he even went in on J9 No for trying to dish Young Dolph paper route just to sign the Black Youngsters heavy camp. But now since Big J9 No is no longer a part of Black Youngsters heavy camp, he wished he could take a lot of that back. And it's mostly dealing with this and Young Dolph and a different paper route artist. Big J9 No, he speaks on the fact that he wished he would have never went down that route with Black Youngster. That he felt like he should have left that all to Black Youngster. If Black Youngster wanted to continue to go at Young Dolph and a different paper route artist, that's all on him. Big J 9 say now he understands what to do and what not to do. And one of the main things he learned is not to go against nobody who got a bunch of connections in your own city. The connections that go with the love and support like Young Dolph had. Now Big J9 know he's starting to see that Young Dolph had more love in Memphis than Black Youngster had. But at first Big J9 know he thought it was the other way around. Because he was only going off the moves that Yo Gotti was making. And he thought that since Yo Gotti got all that love in Memphis, Black Youngster does too. Nah man, it don't go that way. It was Yo Gotti CMG and Young Dolph PRE. Black Youngster, he just threw himself in there because he knew he was Yo Gotti and Big Jook's guard dog. But at the same time, you have both Lil Migo and Big J and I know. Feeling like Black Youngster wasn't really promoting their music in the first place anyway because he was only interested in having a back and forth with Young Dolph, which Young Dolph always ignored. Because like I just told y'all, man, the beef wasn't between Young Dolph and Black Youngster. Matter of fact, Young Dolph... He was even heated when he heard that black youngster had pulled up to Cascade looking for him with burners out causing havoc like untamed juvenile delinquents. See, that's when Young Dolph knew that black youngster, he was a very disrespectful type of dude. That he would do anything for Yo Gotti and to get a certain amount of attention. But let's be real, I feel Lil Migo and Big J9 know they messed up their own rap careers by even listening to black youngsters. And Lil Migo, they limited their own rap career by even going at Young Dolph and a different Pepper Out artist. Because instead of going at one another, y'all should be linking up and making music together. Because we all know that would actually benefit the city of Memphis as a whole. See, y'all going at one another, all it did was create a bigger divide between the people who's affiliated to CMG and the folks who's affiliated to PRE. But let's be real, as black men, we can all see. We can be the cause to our own detriment. Nobody else. I know coming together and lifting one another up, it sounds cliche. But that's exactly what we should be doing out here. Because like I told y'all before, man, whatever the adults put down, the youth, they're going to pick it right up. And we seeing right now, the beef between Yo Gotti and Young Dolph, it made the younger cats who looked up to them go at one another as well. And that's something that we don't want to see. So with that, we just hope that they get it together. And sooner or later, the beef between PRE and CMG will come to a complete end. But y'all already know what I'm going to say. Always be aware and always stay prepared. But hey, we got more in store. As always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.